Guys, uh, so today I'm going to be doing an album review of The Smiths by The Smiths. And if you guys aren't aware of who The Smiths are, they were an iconic British indie rock band from the 80s. And the band consists of a vocalist, Morrissey, a guitarist, Johnny Marr, bassist, Andy Rourke, and drummer, Mike Joyce. Their music was a refreshing contrast to the synthetic pop of the era. And they're best known for There Is A Light That Never Goes Out, Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now, and This Charming Man. Despite their split in 1987, the Smiths left a lasting legacy and continue to influence many artists today. Starting off strong, the album begins with the first song titled Real Around the Fountain. The track is a showcase of the band's distinctive style. Morrissey's narrative-driven lyrics, delivered with his unique vocal style, tells a story that is both intimate and relatable. Johnny Marr provides a jangly and melancholic backdrop that perfectly complements the lyrics. Andy Rourke's bass and Mike Joyce on the drums adds depth and complexity to the track. The song's slow tempo and the overall production gives it a dreamy and almost ethereal feel to it. The Smiths blended indie rock and emotional storytelling perfectly into this song. I would rate this song a 9 out of 10. The next song featured on this album is titled You've Got Everything Now. Morrissey's lyrics in this track are filled with a sense of longing and frustration. Mars guitar offers a catchy, upbeat counterpoint that keeps the song from becoming too heavy. The overall effect is a song that is both introspective and catchy. I would rate this song a 7 out of 10. The last song in my personal favor I will be reviewing is This Charming Man. Morrissey's distinctive vocals and clever lyrics tells a compelling story, while Mars' guitar riffs are recognizable, creating a catchy, upbeat melody. This track is a perfect balance of indie pop and post-punk. This song is a testament of the Smiths' unique musical style. This song is addicting to listen to and perfect for all audiences. I wonder if it's considered one of their most iconic songs. I rate this song a 10 out of 10. Overall, the Smiths album is a seminal work in the indie rock genre. The album is a showcase of the band's unique blend of post-punk and indie pop. Morrissey's lyrics tackle themes of love, loneliness, social critique with a blend of wit. Mars' guitar work is equally impressive, providing a melodic feel to the lyrics. Andy Rourke's bass and Mike Joyce's drums provide a solid rhythmic foundation. This album showcases the Smiths' ability to create music that is both deeply personal and universally relatable. It's a must listen for any fan of indie rock, and if you're not, it's definitely an album worth getting into. Overall, I would rate the Smiths album a 9 out of 10. 